Hi, I'm Karthik Kranjan with ARM, and I'm here at the SDN NFE World Congress in San Jose. And today I'm here to show you our virtual set-top box demo um, that we announced uh, just yesterday. So uh, what we have here is a setup where we have uh, some ARM servers over there connected uh, over a network to this little cube here. And what we're demonstrating is the ability for service operators to be able to run their applications within the cloud. Now the main benefit of this is that by migrating the functionality of the set-top box into the cloud, the management and the ability to roll out new services very quickly and easily uh, is dramatically easier than actually having uh, software running inside the set-top box that the operator has to manage. So historically, they've had to update software, um, you know, perhaps even upgrade the hardware to take advantage of new services. With this new architecture, it leverages NFE uh, uh, technologies to be able to roll out new services uh, uh, within the cloud. So let me begin by showing you just a very quick demo. So, so this is the client and, and this is the UI. Uh, let me show you the setup and then I'll explain how it works. So uh, let's walk over here. And here you can see our ARM-based server rack. And uh, up here you have uh, our partners AMD and Cavium showing another demo that we have here of OP and FB. And then further down below you have the two uh, 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 microserver platforms that we're using for the virtual set-top box demo. So the first one up here on the top uh, is based on Samsung Exynos. So this is a mobile chip that's deployed on Galaxy Note uh, 3, uh, Galaxy S5, standard off-the-shelf phones that, that you get now running inside a server. Just below it, you have uh, uh, your, an applied micro 64-bit uh, ARM V8 architecture server, um, which, which is also uh, being used for this demo here. So that's connected through a switch, and then it comes down here uh, into this little box here. And yes, this is the set-top box right here. And all I have connected to this is an HDMI cable, uh, power, and Ethernet in the back. And I'm going to be controlling it using just a standard uh, Roku remote control here. So let me begin by showing you uh, just some PowerPoint slides. So when I click on this, all this that you're seeing here is a video stream. So, so in the background, you have uh, the video playing and then I'm overlaying these graphics. And the way that the system works is that all this is rendered in the cloud on the servers that you see there. And it's being converted to an H.264 stream and being sent to this client. So when we start with the slides, so this is the architecture here. As I mentioned, we have both uh, the microserver based on Samsung uh, uh, Exynos as well as the uh, Applied Micro XG platform, which is more your vanilla server. This is what you're going to be seeing in your data center. This is what you're going to be seeing used uh, for general purpose applications within the ARM ecosystem. And then this one is, has some acceleration for video and graphics, so it's ideal for these type of set-top box applications. Then you have your, your network and then it's delivered and you can deliver this either to uh, fixed devices like this little box here or you can also deliver it into mobile devices. Now the benefit of this architecture is that you can have, and this is through our partner Netzen, who's the software provider here, is you actually have the ability to run a myriad of different applications across different platforms. So for example, the applied microserver is actually running Ubuntu Linux. And the uh, Samsung microserver is actually running Android. So we'll go through and show you some of the applications shortly uh, that are running on both of those different platforms. Actually, this is PowerPoint, or this is, um, sorry, this is a, a, a PDF reader that's running on top of Ubuntu Linux. So what's happening is all this gets rendered up here in the cloud, and it gets streamed to a very thin client. And the client doesn't have to be this box. It can be, um, it can be a traditional set-top box. It can be uh, a dongle. It can be a mobile device, or it can even be the display itself. Future displays will have this capability to be able to render this content. So let's go back out and have a look at uh, some of the applications that you're running. So this second game here, um, pseudo game, I'm not the best at it, but this one is actually running on uh, the Applied Micro uh, platform as well within, I believe it's uh, it's an HTML5 app. Oops, and we had slight, uh, let's try it again here. 
So there we go. Uh, we come into here, and then you have a game, and, it, it, and you'll see the latency on it is extremely low when I'm moving things around here. I actually don't even know how to play this game very well, but you can see the movement on the screen, very low latency. The experience, as it should be, is as if you're running the code locally on the box itself. So let's go back and try some other applications. Um, why don't we try our favorite Angry Birds? So as you can see, um, it, it looks, runs very similar to Angry Birds on, on any other platform. And um, so, so yeah, we can run these kind of games here as well. And then we'll fix it out here. <laughs> And then we also have um, YouTube. Oh, I don't have YouTube set up because we don't have the internet, I believe. So um, we'll come back to that one later. Uh, and then we have Frogger, which we can play. So this is demonstrating the ability to have 2D games uh, running on top of the platform. And you'll see the latency is extremely low on this platform. So there I have the frog. I think we're all familiar with this game. And you'll see the lag time is almost, um, is, it's, it's imperceivable to the user, which allows me to be able to play a game like this. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and uh, then you also have your traditional TV user interfaces, which I'll uh, demonstrate with XBMC. And again, this is all running in the cloud, being rendered, and then streaming down to the client. And you'll see the performance is very, very quick on XBMC. Let's play a different video here than the one we had on. And there we have it. So there it is, the virtual set-top box demo with Netsen Samsung Applied Micro. Thank you very much.